Welcome to Azure DevOps Roadmap 2024, your compass to navigating the ever-evolving landscape of cloud development and collaboration. In this video, we will embark on a journey into the future of Azure DevOps. Over the next few minutes, we will unveil the innovative strategies, tools, and best practices that will shape the way we build, deploy, and manage applications in the Azure ecosystem. Whether you're a seasoned DevOps professional, or just beginning your cloud development adventure, this roadmap is your key to staying ahead of the curve. Let's dive in and explore the promising horizons of Azure DevOps in 2024. That said, if these are the time for the delay, let's get started by understanding the agenda for today's session. First, we will learn who exactly is an Azure DevOps engineer. Followed by that, we will look into the skills required to become one. Then the roles and responsibilities of Azure DevOps Engineer, then the most important point of today's session, which is the roadmap or how to become an Azure DevOps Engineer in 2024. Next ahead, we will discuss the salary compensation offered to Azure DevOps Engineers and we will wrap up the video by discussing the top companies hiring Azure DevOps Engineers in 2024 and beyond. Now, let's get started with the first point, that is, who exactly is an Azure DevOps Engineer? Azure DevOps, now known as Azure DevOps Services, is a cloud-based platform by Microsoft that provides, that provides a comprehensive set of tools and services for software development and collaboration. It covers the entire software development lifecycle, offering features for planning, coding, testing, and deployment. The key components include Azure Boards for project planning, Azure Repos for source code management, Azure Pipelines for automating build and deployment process, Azure test plans for testing and equal quality assurance and Azure artifacts for package management. Teams can use Azure DevOps to work together efficiently, track projects progress, manage source code, automate software builds and implement continuous integration and continuous deployment or also known as CI-CD pipelines. It promotes collaboration between a development and operations teams, streamlines development processes, and helps organizations deliver high quality software products more rapidly and reliably. And the professionals who take care of all these processes are none other than Azure DevOps engineers. Now moving ahead, we will discuss Azure DevOps engineers skills. So what exactly are the skill set that you need to become one? To excel as an Azure DevOps engineer, you need a diverse skill set that combines technical expertise with collaboration and problem solving abilities. Here are the top five skills that you need to become one. First one, Azure services knowledge. As an Azure DevOps engineer, you should have a strong understanding of Azure cloud services and resources. Familiarity with services like Azure virtual machines, Azure app service, Azure functions, Azure Kubernetes Service or AKS, Azure SQL Database and more are crucial for designing and deploying applications on Azure. The second one, continuous integration and continuous deployment or CI-CD pipelines. Proficiency in CI-CD is fundamental. You should be able to design, implement and manage CI-CD pipelines using Azure DevOps or similar tools. This includes automating builds, testing and deployment processes to ensure smooth and efficient application delivery. Followed by that, we have infrastructure as code or IAC. Mastery of IAC tools like Azure Resource Manager or ARM templates, Terraform or Ansible is essential. IAC enables you to define and manage your infrastructure in a cloud-based automated manner, ensuring reproducibility and scalability. Now, the fourth one. Scripting and automation. Strong scripting skills, especially in PowerShell and Bash, are important for managing and automating Azure resources. You should be able to create scripts to provision, configure, and maintain Azure services efficiently. Now, the last one collaboration and communication. Effective communication and collaboration skills are vital for working in cross functional teams. Azure DevOps engineers often collaborate with developers, system administrators, and other stakeholders. The ability to communicate ideas, manage project tasks, and troubleshoot effectively is essential. 
In addition to all these technical and collaboration skills, continuous learning and staying up to date with the evolving Azure ecosystem are essential for success in this role. Azure DevOps engineers must adapt to new technologies and best practices as they emerge in the fast-paced world of cloud and DevOps. Now, let us discuss the Azure DevOps roles and responsibilities. Azure DevOps engineers play a critical role in software development process, focusing on optimizing development and deployment workflows. Here are the top five important roles and responsibilities of an Azure DevOps engineer. First one, CI-CD pipeline development. Create and maintain continuous integration, continuous deployment pipelines using Azure DevOps. Automate build, test, and development processes to ensure fast and reliable software delivery. Monitor and improve pipeline performance and efficiency. Next one is infrastructure as code. Implement infrastructure as code practices to manage and provision Azure resources and environments. Use tools like Azure Resource Manager templates, Azure CLI, or Azure PowerShell to define infrastructure in a code based controlled version controlled manner. Next is configuration and release management. Manage application configuration and release process to ensure smooth and controlled deployments. Coordinate release schedules including rollback plans and implement release strategies like blue-green deployments or canary releases. Now the fourth one is about security and compliance. Enhance security by implementing secure code practices and incorporating security scanning tools in the CI-CD pipeline. Ensure compliance with industry regulations and standards by configuring Azure security and compliance tools. Lastly, monitoring and troubleshooting. Set up monitoring and logging solutions using Azure Monitor and Application Insights to track application performance and detect issues. Troubleshoot the resolved deployment performance and security issues in Azure environments. Azure DevOps engineers need to collaborate closely with development and operations teams. Continuously improve processes and stay up to date on Azure services and best practices. They play a pivotal role in delivering high quality software products efficiently and securely. Now, let's discuss the most important point of today's session, which is about how to become an Azure DevOps engineer. Creating a comprehensive Azure DevOps roadmap requires an understanding of the specific goals, projects, and technologies your organization is planning to implement. However, this can provide a general outline of the key areas to consider when creating an Azure DevOps roadmap. So first one is assessment and planning. Evaluate the current state of your development and operations process. Identify pain points and areas for improvement. Define your organizational goals and objectives for adopting Azure DevOps. The next step is tool selection. Choose the Azure DevOps services and tools that best align with your needs. This may include Azure Boots, Azure Repos, Azure Pipelines, Azure Test Plans, and Azure Artifacts. Consider integration with other Azure services and third-party tools. Now, the third step is training and skill development. Invest in training and upskilling your team in Azure DevOps practices and technologies. Encourage certification and continuous learning to ensure team's proficiency. The fourth step is migration and onboarding. Plan and execute the migration of existing projects and code repositories to Azure DevOps. Onboard your team to the new platform and educate them on best practices. Moving ahead, we have Agile and DevOps practices as the fifth step. Implement Agile methodologies and DevOps practices to streamline development and operations procedure. Define workflows, processes, and the policies that promote collaboration and automation. Sixth step is continuous integration and continuous deployment. Set up CI-CD pipelines using Azure pipelines to automate the build and deployment processes. Implement testing, quality control, and release management as the part of your CI-CD pipeline. Seventh step is monitoring and feedback. Implement monitoring and logging solutions to track application performance and detect issues. Collect and analyze user feedback to make continuous improvements. Now the eighth step, security and compliance. Integrate security practices into your development and deployment pipelines. Ensure compliance with industry standards and regulations 
by using Azure security and compliance tools. Now the ninth step is scalability and cost management. Plan for scalability and cost optimization by leveraging Azure resources and services. Implement cost tracking and optimization strategies to control cloud expenditure. Now, the next one is long-term strategy. Develop a long-term strategy for Azure DevOps adoption, including future upgrades, new services, and evolution of your DevOps practices. The 11th step is about collaboration and communication. Foster collaboration amongst development and operations teams through communication channels and tools. Encourage a culture of collaboration and knowledge sharing. Now the 12th step is performance metrics and KPIs. Define and track key performance indicators, KPIs, to measure the success and efficiency of your Azure DevOps initiatives. Use metrics to identify areas for improvement. Now the 13th one and the last one is feedback loop and iteration. Establish a feedback loop that allows for continuous improvement in your Azure DevOps processes. Iterate and adapt your roadmap based on feedback and changing organizational needs. Remember that your Azure DevOps roadmap should be dynamic and adaptable to changing circumstances. Regularly review and adjust your plans to align with your organization's evolving goals and the ever-changing technology landscape. Now moving ahead, we will discuss the DevOps engineer salary details. If you are in India and if you are a beginner, then you can expect salaries ranging from 3 lakhs to 6 lakhs per annum. And if you're an intermediate candidate, let's say one to two years of experience as a Azure DevOps engineer, then you can expect salaries ranging from 6 lakhs to 12 lakhs per annum. And if you're a highly experienced candidate with more than four years of experience, you can expect salaries ranging from 12 lakhs to 20 lakhs per annum. Remember, these salary figures are based on the organization you're working with and the experience and the job location. Moving ahead, we have US. So if you are a beginner as Azure DevOps engineer and you are in America, then you can expect salary ranging from $60,000 to $90,000 per annum. If you are an intermediate candidate, let's say one to two years of experience, then you can expect salaries ranging from $90,000 to $120,000 per annum. And if you're a highly experienced candidate with more than four years of experience, then you can expect salaries ranging from $120,000 to $160,000 per annum. Again, these salary numbers vary based on the company you're working with, your experience and job location. Moving ahead, we will understand the companies which are hiring Azure DevOps engineers. There are a lot of companies hiring Azure DevOps engineers, but the prominent players in the industry are Microsoft, Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, IBM, Oracle, Deloitte, Dell Technologies, Cisco Systems, Accenture, Cognizant, Infosys, IBM, and many more. And with that, we have come to the end of this session. And with that, we have reached to the end of this tutorial on Azure DevOps Roadmap for 2024. Should you need any assistance, PPT, or any other resources used in this session, please let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to help you as soon as possible. Until next time, thank you for watching and keep learning. Stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.